I'm Jeff Schwartz and this is our June 2024 shop update video. Let's see what we got going on this month. This 54 Chevy pickup truck with the 502 big block is just about ready to go to the uh, interior shop where we got to get door panels, uh, floor covering, and the headliner done on it. We also need to get a few more miles on it and we've been dodging a little bit of weather and we'll be doing that real soon. We've been driving this Hellcat powered Monte Carlo, getting everything dialed in. Uh, we still got to send it out to the alignment shop for the fine tuned final alignment. And we're charging air conditioning and doing other things to get it ready to go to the customer. It should be going out in about a week. I've just been informed that the woman that owns this gorgeous, fully restored P1800 Volvo uh, wants to sell it. So if you're interested, send us a message and we'll put you in contact with the owner. This is a complete stock restoration other than we added power brakes and air conditioning for her. It's a beautiful car. If you're looking for one of these, they're super rare and this is a nice one. This 64 Jag Mark II is coming along rather nicely. Uh, all the bits are being put back on it and the wiring is nearly complete. We uh, have the interior yet to be done and hopefully the seats are being upholstered as we are speaking now. Um, that's the next step. Once we have everything assembled, we'll get the seats in there, do a little test drive and make sure everything's working properly. And then it'll have all the rest of the interior done and they'll be ready to go to the customer after that. We've still got a few more wiring bits to do on this 54 Studebaker wide body, and then it will also need to go to the interior shop. On this 64 Galaxy, we have test fit the chassis, and now we're trying to see if we can somehow manipulate the upper shock mounts to clear the existing turbo plumbing. Not quite sure if we can do that yet, but we're trying to minimize the amount of custom fab work uh, or refabrication work that we'll have to do on the turbo plumbing that was on here with the stock chassis. So trying to minimize the cost of the customer and doing a little bit of tweaking on the front suspension. Then it will come out from there and be completely welded. Most of the items on the chassis have just been tacked up we wanted a double check fit before we weld it all together. So that's where we're at on this one. Yes, we do have two Chevy Monzas in the house. This Chevy Monza, we are uh, doing some updates. It was built many years ago, has Corvette IRS in it, and we're doing some updates and correcting some things. I think I talked about this a couple months ago about uh, redesigning the uh, the steering geometry in the front to minimize bump steer. We've got that all done and we've upgraded the brakes and doing a number of updates for the customer on this one. And then this one should be on the road here very shortly so it can be enjoyed this summer. We're doing a mock-up and fitment of all the components on this 55 Chevy. Of course it has our G-Machine chassis in there. And once we're done uh, fitting everything, and fabricating exhaust system, then the chassis will go out, get powder coated, and it'll get put back together for the final time. This is that 68 Camaro that we put the chassis in and mini tubbed uh, just recently. It has the LS3 in it now, and we're continuing the build, putting all the components on it. We are waiting for that uh, low profile Hogan's intake manifold to arrive for this. 632 big block Chevy that's in here and then we also need to get on with fabricating the headers and the exhaust system. I put the LS engine in this SLC supercar. This is the green one that we showed you before. Uh, this is for sale so if you're interested in purchasing this car uh, hit me up on the phone number below. We've got a few more details to wrap up on this 67 Le Mans for the customer. Uh, we got to paint the firewall, uh, do a bed line on the bottom of the car, and then get it back on the chassis. So it's nearly uh, 
nearly done with the chassis install. This 69 Roadrunner came back from the dipping process and like every car that we send out to dipping or blasting, it looks pretty nice when it goes out. However, when it comes back, there's usually a Frankenstein and this is a Frankenstein. You can see there was a repair done here of multiple pieces um, of the quarter panel. You can see they zigzag cut it and welded another piece in. And then there's all sorts of rust around the, uh, the window channel and stuff. So we've uh, hit this with some epoxy primer in all the areas that we're not going to be doing metal work on. And these areas we left raw because we're going to be putting new quarter panels, or at least this quarter panel on here. And then doing rust repair around the windows. But uh, it's nothing that we can't do here. And we just got a shipment of parts from Auto Metal Direct. And we'll be uh, starting on this very shortly and it'll be like new before it gets painted. Here's another new arrival for a chassis. This is a very early Barracuda. I believe this one is a 1964. Hard to believe that they made these things way back then. It was pretty uh, cool at its time. It had the uh, kind of curved back window and the fastback body style. It was uh, kind of neat. I haven't seen one of these in ages. Well, in our spare time, we've been doing a little bit of work on the 79 Corvette shop project. Uh, stay tuned for this one because we will have some pretty cool things in store for this car. Uh, several big surprises. So we're uh, in the process of fitting the fiberglass front bumper right now. And uh, we've uh, uh, plasma cut a, a splitter for the front. and. Uh, working on some details on the rear end of the car. And I can't wait to see this one on the road and actually be driving it myself. The thing's gonna be pretty cool with gobs of horsepower. If you're wondering where the black Smoking the Bandit Trans Am went, uh, the customer in Michigan picked it up yesterday. We uh, wrapped everything up this week and uh, it'll be driving around uh, Michigan this summer. If there's other car projects that you didn't see, we haven't made enough progress on them to give you an update. And we do need some additional help here, experienced car builders. So if you're an experienced car builder, hit me up in the phone number here and uh, we'd love to have you join our team. So that's all we have for this month. Stay tuned for next month's video. We got even more surprises next month.